going on, fellow junkies? Horror Junkies 509. Call the 13th coming at you again today, you guys. And I'm coming at you with kind of a wonky video in a weird way. Uh, just so, as you can see, I'm not clowning around like in my last video. But if you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. It's a little fun. Uh, so coming into this, you guys, a uh, little explanation to this video. I've been doing a lot, setting up some new playlists on my channel. So hopefully you guys will come and check them out. And I came to a realization of I have a mask that I have not reviewed on this channel. And I've had this mask for quite a while. So... I'm going to go ahead and review that mask because, ironically, um, at the time, they released two masks from the movie Nightbreed. They remove, re, uh, they released the Boone mask and the Dr. Decker mask. And uh, I got the Decker mask. I've showed it a little bit in my channel, but I've never done a full-on review of it. But recently, I've noticed that a lot of hate is coming from uh, people that bought the Boone mask. And I've seen the Boone mask, and it is not good. It's just not a good representation of it. And, of course... When you see it online, it looks immaculate. It looks amazing. But what you get is not what you see on the online. So I do want to come on this video trying to save a little bit. I'm not trying to tell you to buy the Ed Boon. Ed Boon? No, that's, that's Mortal Kombat. The Boon Mask from Trick or Treat Studios is a little bit of a dud. But I'm, I'm here to show that the Dr. Decker one is not. It's miles and leagues above the Boon Mask. So... Kind of what I'm going to do is just uh, review this mask I love reviewing Trick or Treat Studios masks. I know there's a lot of heat when it comes to Trick or Treat Studios sometimes, but there's also still a lot of love out there. And uh, talking about it, I did do a playlist for all my Trick or Treat Studios mask reviews. Uh, so if you guys want to binge it or whatever or just watch the masks that interest you, it's there and it's easily accessible now. And I also did a uh, playlist for every single action figure review I've done. Um, whatever it is, NECA, uh, Real Toys, uh, Mezco, whatever it is, uh, I put them all in one, uh, little, uh, playlist so you guys can watch all those if you want to. That's up to you. I'm trying to make it easier for you guys. Alright, you guys, so to go ahead and get right into this, you guys, I have had this one in my collection for a while, and, uh, I'm a fairly new fan to Nightbreed. Um, I own the movie, and I just love it. I watched it on Netflix, and I just loved it. I loved Docker, Dr. Decker from the beginning, and yeah, so I, I had to get this mask. So, Here's the first look of it. Um, it's supposed to kind of be like, I think it's supposed to be like a burlap mask uh, in a way. Because, I mean, it's got the button eyes and it's got a lot of stitching into it. So, it's supposed to be a fabric. But this is a, uh, a rubber mask, of course. Uh, but it does it definitely does the job of looking like a burlap mask. And, like always, you guys want to go ahead and show this off. Because I do have the tag still. Because I always do keep them. Uh, so, Nightbreed. And here's the two masks they made at the time, the Boone and the Dr. Decker mask. I mean, the picture of the Dr. Decker mask does look a little bit better uh, in the picture than when it comes, but I feel like it's not a huge difference. But just so you know, the Boone mask, I don't have it, and I have zero plans of getting it. And of course, the little Trick or Treat Studios tag, uh, all the, you know, taking care of your masks. And of course, it says Dr. Decker right there. So just so you know, I'm not trying to pose another tag. All right, so like I said, getting back into this mask, you guys, uh, I've liked it from the very beginning of having it. Um, yeah, the, the these buttons are not real. Uh, they're just late, uh, the rubber, like the mask. Um, but it, I think it gives off the good um, vibe that they are buttons, because that's what you see through. Like, there's very small gaps in between, like, the stitching and the button. Uh, it's not real stitching either. It's just uh, more uh, rubber. But, I mean, I feel like it still gives the overall good desired look. And as you can kind of see getting close into it, it's got like the stitching here. Uh, not real stitching, again, uh, just uh, detailing. Uh, but the lace up the back, that's yeah, a real cord, um, like a real string. And then it's got the little, what looks to be little uh, metal eyelets. Those are rubber, which this is, that's why, one of the reasons this mask makes me nervous, because uh, being rubber, I feel like it could tear this mask eventually. Um, that's one thing I really loved about the new Texas Ch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface masks, is they, uh, the little eyelets on the mask are metal. Uh, but these ones are not, so it does make me quite nervous about this mask. But something they did do is the zipper for the mouth is a working metal zipper. So, you can unzip it. You know, do like talk or whatever when you're wearing it. Um, yeah, but I usually just keep it zipped because it looks cooler. It definitely looks a little BDSM, whatever. Uh, so, but that's the basic look and up close look personal. I mean, like, as you can see, I mean, it's got the attempt of being like a burlap sack, but it almost kind of comes off like snakeskin almost. 
Um, but I think overall, I mean, the look of it is great. Um, I know it doesn't probably doesn't match exactly like the picture. I mean, I feel like it's pretty close. I think it's very serviceable. I mean, what do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, there's some shadow in this picture, but I, I feel like they're trying to hide more stuff. But I think they're, the details there, I feel like it's overall really well made. Um, and I was, like always, you guys, I will try on the mask in the video. Uh, this might take a minute um, to get this on. I usually need a spotter or a buddy to tie me into it. <laughs> and I don't have one right now, so... Uh, I'm going to keep this filming, so uh, if you guys get a little bored, you can skip over, I guess. But uh, it might be funny. It's going to be like Bobby Hill trying to run. I've been watching a lot of King of the Hill lately, so let's see how this goes. I don't want to loosen it up too much. But I also don't want to wreck it, so let's just see here. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I'm not going to tie it all the way up. I don't know if you guys can hear me or understand me. But now I'm in here and I am tacking. Okay, so there's that. You guys got the cord right here. But I, I'll just throw that back there. But I mean, I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. Like, the look of it is great. I mean, I don't have a suit. Because Dr. Decker kind of wears a suit when he's doing this thing. But I mean, that's the overall look. I think that's kind of what you'll be looking for. I mean, like, you open it up, I mean, it doesn't really, like, come open or anything like that. I mean, it's pretty sealed, but, I mean, it's still something you can do, which is, I think is kind of cool. I feel like they tried to do quality with the metal zipper, uh, but, yeah, I just wish they would have done the metal eyelets. So, if you want to see the back, uh, we'll see if we can do this. So, that's the back. So, that's the back. You can see it. Uh, like I said, you kind of need a buddy to put it on. Ugh. Or at least a help, I guess. Oh, I'm stuck. Is it so embarrassing? I'm deleting this video. Not really. Yeah, so that is that right there, you guys. Um, if you're going to put this on and take it off, I highly recommend a buddy. <laughs> you don't want to get stuck, of it, stuck in here and suffocate and die. That's a disclaimer. Not really. I don't think that'll happen. Uh, but yeah, I feel like overall, they nailed the look of it and uh, the functionality of it. I mean, I could see pretty well out of it. I mean, of course, I mean, your peripherals are gone. So <laughs> you're walking straight forward and... Um, I don't know how many of you have worn like a Batman mask or a cowl. Uh, there's no a lot of neck movement. Like it kind of kept my neck pretty propped up there. Uh, but I mean, overall, I mean, it's a good fit, good wear. And I think definitely in the dark, this is going to look amazing. Like it's going to give the natural effect that you want. Let's just see here. That might be too dark. Yeah, you can't see nothing. I don't got, I don't got any better light in here, guys. All right, um, so things I like about this mask. I love the look of it. I mean, it's Dr. Decker. Without a doubt, this is Dr. Decker. Um, I love that they did make it look like a burlap, even though it's made out of rubber. It's kind of like the, um, the Sam mask from Trick or Treat. A little bit. So uh, I love the metal zipper. I love the stitching look. I mean, if they were to update this mask, I would love to see like uh, uh, real stitching going through here metal eyelets and uh, I think this mask would be a complete knockout and maybe like maybe do something with these uh, make them real buttons but I guess you can't really see out of it without the buttons um, I'm really I mean most people are going to be disappointed that there's no like really nose hole so you can breathe I mean there's some little holes here but breathing isn't super easy in it but of course you're going to be fine uh, probably not wear it for extremely long times but you know there's the mouth hole and it works <clears throat> um, so things I don't like, I've already kind of covered the metal eyelets, the, the just kind of painted on stitches and then the button eyes. But I mean, overall, I think it's a quality mask for the price. I don't quite remember what this is. This is an older mask, so it might be cheaper than the $60 price point. Uh, but I think it's 
very awesome, and I believe it's way better than the Boon Mask, hands down. Uh, this is definitely worth buying, without a shadow of a doubt. Horror Junkie 509, Horror Junkies 509, Call 13, recommend, recommends this mask. That's it. That's all I got for it, you guys. But what am I going to rate this out of 10? I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid 8 because I feel like it is great. I couldn't imagine a mask being this good if it was made out of the actual material of what it is in the movie. I just feel like the look and everything is going to be great if you have a Dr. Decker costume. Um, I'd love to see what this looked like in good lighting. Uh, like mood lighting because you know he's kind of a killer so he's going to be in the darkness not so much in the bright light but uh so that's going to do it for me you guys on the review of Trick or Treat Studios Dr. Decker Mask and uh sorry to those who bought the Boon Mask and are very unsatisfied with it uh from what I've seen I'm very unsatisfied with it but Decker definitely worth it uh get into it you guys so that's going to do it for me you guys on my review Horror Junkies 509, Kyle 13 signing out. Just until next time, you guys already know it. I've been sentenced to life. I'm a horror lifer, you guys. And definitely go check out my other reviews on Trick or Treat Studios. I'm a little bit of a supporter of them. I know a lot of people have had issues with them. I personally at this point have not. So, I mean, I can't I can't uh, have a problem with them until I've, I, until I've experienced it. So, it is what it is. I do have the new... Uh, Michael Myers mask uh, on pre-order for the, the 78 one. I will be getting part 4 and 5 as well to finish the collection at some point. Uh, I'm not probably not going to be able to afford to pre-order those, but those videos will be coming as well, but not for a while. It's like September when they're coming out. So that's going to do it, you guys. So I hope you guys have a killer day.